video I'll be showing you how to program a GT3TP Bofang radio with Trip. One of the first things you're going to want to do is plug the cable into the radio. You're going to plug it into the speaker and microphone plugs on the side. And once you've done that, you can plug it into the computer. I'm using a USB extension cable to prevent interference from the radio as it's being programmed. Then you can turn it on and set the volume to 100%. Once the radio is plugged into the computer, you're going to go, want to go and find the COM port it's connected to. To do this, you want to head over to the either device manager or I'm going to use the command prompt. And then once you've gone into the command prompt, you're going to want to open or search for device devices and printers and then it's the one at the bottom that says unspecified and you can see it's a USB to COM port and it's in COM4 so you're going to want to remember that because in the Chirp software you're going to have to select a COM port which is what's going to program the radio so now we can open Chirp now you can Either download by clicking the radio, then download button. You have to select some settings like the COM port, the vendor of the radio, in this case it would be Bofan, and it doesn't matter if you're programming a UV5R or a GT3TP radio, they're both the same inside anyway. So you just want to click UV5R, and then once you've got all those settings right and you've double checked this right, click OK, and it will download your current settings from the radio. Sometimes, depending on if you've done this before, it will come up with this message. You can click don't, don't uh, show instructions again, but I always keep it up just to remind me. And then you can see the flashing light on the front of the radio, and it goes green when it's finished. Now you've downloaded the current radio settings onto your uh, chirp. You can turn the radio off for a minute to save the battery. And you can see all the channels I've already got in installed in mine. So you can... Using Chirp, you can import channels like PMR, maritime channels. You can do this by heading up to radio, clicking import from data source if you want to report the repeaters, but I'm going to import from stock config. I'm going to import the no other channels. You can use the plus and minus of the bottom or auto to assign the channel numbers, which is the number you have to type in to get to it. And then click OK once you've added, got the numbers all right, and it, add, and it adds it to the bottom or wherever you've set it to. Then you can right click on the name and click properties, which you can use to change the name that shows up, the transmit power, the receive, or the busy lockout. So if, so if someone's transmitting, you can't accidentally key over them. So I'm, I automatically set all mine to low because it just makes things easier and it means you less chance of interfering with other people or people further away. But by default, it sets them all to high, but I'm, I set them to low. And once you've imported or added all of the frequencies and channels you wanted, you just go to radio, upload to radio, and then you have to select the COM port and radio again. Well, it already knows which radio it is because you imported it earlier, but you have to set the COM port, click OK, click OK, make sure the radio's on if you've turned it off. And just click OK, it uploads, and you're done. Let's take a while. Now the software is finished writing to the radio or uploading the uh, image with the frequencies on, you can now unplug it from the computer and when you turn it on, if you set a custom message, you'll see it displayed on the screen like this. This just displays my name and then you can see all of the channels in the memory road are there which you programmed in. But if this doesn't show up, you might have to press the VFO MR button just above the status light to change it to the memory mode. 
So you can see all the channels I added in the trailer are now displayed in the screen and in the radio's memory.